Welcome back my friends to another video on multiple linear regression. In this video we're going to examine the SPSS readout and see what sense we can make of it. And we may find that 98% of all statistics are indeed made up. Now this is where the rubber hits the road. This is where you really sit down, you've done the analysis, now you've got to interpret it. And the time has come to make sense of your readout. Hang on as we get this task done. Well, my friends, now we will go through the SPSS readout and see what sense we can make out of it. Uh, the, the multiple linear regression begins here. See if I can get this thing to kind of scroll down. I don't know what's going on here. It's just acting really weird. First thing that we notice is that we have the descriptive statistics for each of the values. We have the mean, the standard deviation, and they're 1,230. We have next, I ask for the correlation matrices where we can compare each of these variables like percent of disciplinary placements. We can correlate it to each of the other variables. That, that's important for us as, as we read through this, this material. The next thing that is uh, of interest to us will be the variables entered uh, section. And uh, that's, uh, let me get that, that's this amount right here. Notice that none of the variables were removed. It kept all seven of them as they went through uh, uh, looking at the disciplinary placements of the percent. Now what is interesting is that our model summary is pretty weak. 0.193 is weak correlation. We can, we can live with that, however. Now, the next item of interest to us is, is the ANOVA. The ANOVA has a significance of 0 0.00. Now, what that is, the, the null hypothesis that this NOVA runs is that there's no linear relationship, and obviously there is a linear relationship in these variables. Now we have something very important, and that's the coefficients. We have a constant of negative 5.256, and then we use the standardized beta coefficients. As you look at them, the largest of those is 0.496, which is the percent Hispanic, as uh, playing in whether or not they had disciplinary placements, then the percent economically disadvantaged. So what we see from that is, is if, that if, you're a, uh, if you're Hispanic and you're economically disadvantaged, you're, or African American even, 0.203, your butts go into disciplinary placement. You just haven't got much chance for that. The uh, multiple, the collinearity statistics should run between uh, 0.1 on down, uh, should be greater than that. Some of those, that percent economically disadvantaged and percent Hispanic are very closely, very closely correlated. That's, that's really interesting, isn't it? The, the next thing that we want to look at, I believe, will be our, our charts. Let me get to those. Our dependent variable, the percent of uh, disciplinary placements, pretty close to being uh, uh, normally distributed. I think I can live with that. The last of the values of interest to us happens to be this, this plot where we uh, took the, the stamp plot of the regression standardized residuals. Uh, for the percent of disciplinary placements. Uh, there's no trend in the error. This is, a, this is a good graph. If there was a trend in the error terms, it would look kind of like a staircase. So this ended up being uh, just exactly what we were looking for. So we've got a real good readout here. I want you to, to pull it down. You can get it on in the website, in the web shell, and uh, look at it. But uh, our... our uh, our uh, output looks pretty good, and I just wanted you to have a chance to check it out, look at the things that we got, the descriptive statistics, and so forth. Now we'll take just a minute to interpret these even further for you. Now that really wasn't that bad, was it? You got a really good readout. You didn't have to add anything by hand. All you had to do is look at the output and try to determine what it said. Now you will recall that the multiple linear regression model is uh, the y predicted value of y or, or your dependent variable is equal to your first beta value times your, your first independent and so forth and so on plus some constant c. 
Now, if you look at this just a minute, we plug the values in out of your output, we find that it, that it creates a formula like this. The constant is minus 5.256. Now, it's interesting that we have 0 0.203 times the percent African American, 0.496 times the percent Hispanic, 0 0.105 times the percent white, 0.365 times the percent economically disadvantaged, minus 0 0.60 limited English proficiency, plus 0 0.110 times the at risk, plus 0 0.041 times the special ed minus this. Now, the linear, the multiple linear regression model indicates to us that the Hispanic percentage is very big in positively uh, predicting the uh, percentage of disciplinary placements. The next largest is if you're economically disadvantaged, and then the next largest if you're African American. The moral to this is don't be Hispanic or African American or economically disadvantaged, or you're going to be sent to disciplinary placement if you do something. Seems to me that we might have a problem there if we really look at it. Again, I want to thank you very much for your support. As always, your patronage keeps my family fed. Uh, I thank you on behalf of myself, behalf of my wife, behalf of my autistic son Zoe, behalf of my other three children, behalf of my seven grandchildren. I thank you on behalf of the two lambs that I'm feeding out out here in the backyard. Uh, may the odds be ever in your favor. Have a good one.